Welcome back everybody, it is Ryan with the Idaho Crypto Group back again with Binance Basics lesson number two, which is how to purchase, send, and receive cryptocurrency through Binance. So if you didn't already watch lesson number one and create your Binance account, make sure to go to our channel and watch lesson number one first. So let's get right into it. So now that you have a Binance account set up, you need to know how to get some cryptocurrency into it. So first, what you need to know is what an address is. So in the cryptocurrency world, an address is a string of 26 to 35 alphanumeric characters. So they can be numbers or letters, and the letters can also be uppercase or lowercase, and they are case sensitive. So I'm gonna show you where to find your address in Binance. Uh, you have an address for each different coin. So if you go to funds and click balances, it's going to take you to a page that looks like this. And since this is a new account, obviously there's nothing in it yet. Up here in the top right, it's gonna show your uh, Bitcoin portfolio value versus your currency, whatever currency you're using uh, to your uh, area. So right here, you can see all these different types of coins that Binance supports. So for example, if you were buying some Bitcoin, you would go over here and click deposit. And then right here, this is your Bitcoin deposit address. So there's two different types of addresses. There's a private address and a public address. So this would be your public address. So if someone was going to send you Bitcoin, this is the address that you would give them. And this is where they would send that Bitcoin to. Now you also have a private address, which is the one that you send cryptocurrency from. So if you were to send cryptocurrency to a friend, they would see it coming from your private address. But if they wanted to send it back to you, this is the public address that, that you would give to them. So like I said, it's a string of all these numbers and letters. There's also QR code. So if someone was sending you crypto from a phone or maybe an ATM, you can just scan this uh, QR code or you can copy and paste this and send it to a friend or whoever you're buying it from or whatever online exchange you're buying it from. Now, it's very, very important that you guys don't mess up your addresses because if cryptocurrency is sent to the wrong address, even if it's off by one number or one letter, the chances of you getting that back are very, very little. So what we like to do, we generally, you would copy, if you were gonna buy Bitcoin from someone, you would copy and paste this over to them and then you would tell them, you would ask them to verify the first and last four. So if you send it over your friend Susie Smith, she's gonna say back to you, okay, the first four is one L Y D. Uh, capital L, capital Y, capital D rather, because it is case sensitive. And then you'd say last, or she would say last four, lowercase m, capital D, three, capital T. You say, yep, and she would go ahead and send it over. And then that's gonna go to your account. Now, when you are sending or receiving cryptocurrency, they're gonna go through things called confirmations. Now, in, in the most basic sense possible, a confirmation is basically a verification method by a third party that you do actually have the amount of funds that you were trying to send. So this solves a lot of problems in the typical banking industry, you know, such as overdraft charges or chargebacks and things like that. These confirmations are confirming that you actually have the amount of coin that you are trying to send, and they're all verified by third parties um, to make sure that you actually have those funds, okay? Now, what you're gonna do with this address, this is what you're gonna send if you wanted to buy Bitcoin again, this is the address that you would send it to. So there are three different ways that you can buy cryptocurrency. The first is online, which you can see right here, Binance actually added their own third party um, broker that sells cryptocurrency. So you can click buy now, and then it's gonna take you here. And so right here, this is what you're gonna be ordering. And so you can order Bitcoin, Ripple, Ethereum, Litecoin, Bitcoin Cash, and then you can pay and, and you know, your type of currency that you're using. And you can use any sort of Visa or MasterCard. They use a third party called Simplex. And it's generally pretty quick between 10 to 30 minutes that you will receive your cryptocurrency. So let's say you wanted to buy, you know, five Bitcoin and you wanted to pay in US dollars. It's automatically gonna calculate that for you. And then you can just hit buy now, pop in all your information, and then it's fairly quick. So that's the first way that you can purchase cryptocurrency. Now, the second way is through cryptocurrency ATMs. Now this is, um, this is becoming more prevalent around uh, my area. We actually have two Bitcoin ATMs now. Um, a lot of people don't know about them simply because a lot of areas don't have them, but they're super awesome. So basically the way that works is you go to a Bitcoin ATM and if you need help finding one, we actually have a tool right here on our website at idahocryptogroup.com. If you click crypto info, you'll see crypto maps right here. You click that. 
And then right here on the left, the first little picture is a Bitcoin ATM map. So you can click on that and see if there's any ATMs near your area that you can use. So the way that those work is you actually take your cash um, of, of your currency down to the ATM, you feed it to the ATM, and you would type in your Bitcoin deposit address, and it would send it right over to you. Now, when you purchase, there are always fees. So if you buy on Binance, the fee is like 3.5%, uh, you can see right here. Um, ATMs are generally, I've seen ATMs as high as 14%, and I've seen, seen them as low as 3%. So you gotta check what the fee is. So if you deposited $1,000 with a 3% fee, they're gonna take 30 bucks off of your purchase. And with Bitcoin ATMs, some of them actually allow you to sell crypto as well. So you could go down to the ATM and type in your wallet address, and you would send your crypto to the ATM, and then the ATM would give you cash back out. So that's the cool part about some ATMs. Now, the third way to purchase cryptocurrency, possibly one of the easiest ways, is peer-to-peer. -peer. Now, I say easiest because it's fairly quick and easy, but sometimes it can be hard to find people that are selling. So peer-to-peer -peer is buying or selling crypto to someone, uh, not necessarily that you know, but there's no third, uh, there's no middleman, there's no exchange or broker in between, it's just person to person, peer-to-peer. -peer. So let's say your friend Susie Smith had three Bitcoin that she was selling. You could say, hey Susie, I'd like to buy those three Bitcoin from you. You would give her your deposit address and then you would PayPal, Venmo, give her cash, whatever it is, and she would send you over those Bitcoin. Now, if Susie was a good friend, she wouldn't charge you much of a fee. Some people might, but that's why peer-to-peer -peer is generally the lowest way to go as far as fees because you know if it's peer-to-peer, -peer, you can make a pretty quick and easy transaction with not a whole lot of fees from uh, a third mediator, um, a middleman. And so those are the three different ways to purchase cryptocurrency. And so once you have cryptocurrency in your Binance, uh, it's pretty much the same way to send it to someone else. So if you go back to your balances under funds right here, it'll take you right back to this page where it shows all of your balances. So let's say you wanted to send someone Bitcoin, you would find your Bitcoin and you would click withdrawal. And then right here, you will see Bitcoin withdrawal address. Now this is where you will paste or type the address of the wallet uh, that you were sending the crypto to. And again, you want to make sure that you were sending this crypto to the correct address, uh, capitals, lowercases, everything, because if you send it to someone else, they're gonna be happy and you're gonna be very sad. Now, and then you would type in the amount and you would click submit, and then it's gonna send you an email and you just have to confirm it, and then it's gonna be on its way through its confirmation process, and then the other person should receive their um, crypto as soon as the confirmations are done. Now there can be, you know, up to 30 confirmations sometimes and it just takes sometimes it can take a little bit of time for those confirmations to go through. So sometimes coins like Bitcoin can take a little bit longer. I've seen Bitcoin transactions take up to a couple of hours, while coins like Tron and Ripple go fairly quickly within a few minutes sometimes. So it just depends. So if you don't see it go through right away, just check and you'll see the confirmations. It'll say like five out of 20 right here in your history. So don't stress if it doesn't go, it'll go eventually, as long as you sent it to the right address. So guys, thanks again for tuning in to lesson number two of Binance Basics, which showed you how to purchase, send, and receive cryptocurrency on Binance. So lesson number three is gonna be coming again soon, so make sure to stay tuned. And thanks for watching, guys. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Show some support for us here. I love making these videos, and there's gonna be lots more fun, educational, and entertaining content coming out soon. And guys, make sure to drop your Tron addresses in the comments below. We love giving away free coins. We're gonna be giving away some of our own Idaho Crypto Group tokens tokens, as well as Tron, Dogcoin, BTT, all sorts of stuff. We love giving coins away, so make sure to put those addresses below. And also, guys, make sure to subscribe to our and follow our Twitch channel, which is Idaho Crypto Group. I do some live trading on there, and we like to get on there and just chat about the cryptocurrency world. Thanks again for tuning in, and we'll catch you next time.